It's 2017 and game streaming and cloud gaming are back. But has the input latency improved? Let's test Parsec and find out. Hey guys, my name is James and I'm the Technical Community Manager here at Parsec. And today we're gonna to put Parsec's protocol to the test by measuring its input latency over the internet. So when you think of traditional game streaming services like OnLive or PlayStation Now, you probably think, well, the idea is pretty cool, but the input latency makes it unusable. We knew there had to be a better way. So we set out to see what we could do to revolutionize the experience. And after a year and a half of building a new streaming protocol from the ground up, Parsec was born. So what makes Parsec different? Well, unlike other streaming services, Parsec has its own protocol called BUD, based off UDP. There are two main networking protocols that run the internet. One's TCP and the other's UDP. TCP is perfect for stuff like online banking and data transfer because every time you send a message, the receiver replies back with a note to say, hey, I've got everything, everything's in order, it all checks out. This behavior, although perfect for data transfer, is not ideal from a latency standpoint as there's a lot of overhead that is required to keep the data in order and accurate. With game streaming, a little glitch in the video data isn't a big deal because in another few milliseconds, you're on to the next frame. This is where UDP comes in. UDP doesn't have any features to make sure the data is correct. It just sends and sends and sends. This is great from a latency and performance standpoint, but gives some questions around security and reliability. What we did here at Parsec is create a protocol called BUD, or Better User Datagrams. What this does is takes the best of UDP and adds security via DTLS 1.2 and a reliability feature called Fast Retransmit, which only cares about data that matters. So this is how we're gonna test Parsec's input latency. I've got a gaming rig at home running a GTX 1070 and it's hardwired into the internet. It's about two to three miles away from our office here and I've got my client rig and that's running a GTX 1050 Ti, which I know is a crazy overkill client machine, but what I wanted to do was not have the hardware bottleneck this test. And I've got it connected to a 240 hertz monitor, and then I've got that connected to a Makey Makey. And what the Makey Makey allows us to do is we can press a couple wires together, and it's gonna generate a little LED flash. And when that LED lights up, it's gonna send a click signal to the client machine. That click signal is gonna transfer over the internet to my host machine and trigger a fire and the animation will run and then the video will come back to the client machine. We're gonna use a 1000 FPS camera to find out how many frames transpire between the LED lighting up and that animation appearing on the client rig. So before we start testing, it's important to establish a baseline. So earlier today at home, I plugged my Makey Makey in directly into the host rig and I recorded it with my 1000 FPS camera. Over a series of 30 tests, there was an average of 20 milliseconds latency directly connected to the host. And I think it's important to also mention that we're around three milliseconds ping time away from the host at home where we are here. So what I have in front of me is MPCHC and it's got the, the 1000 FPS footage um, that we took previously. As you can see, the Makey Makey is on the bottom left there and I've got the monitor and I've got an Excel spreadsheet open with all the data. So I've already taken all the data down but I thought I'd just show you what's going on. So um, when I press control on the right arrow key, I can um, go forward through the video frame by frame. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press control on the right arrow until I get to the green, all right? So what it did is it skipped ahead a little bit there but what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump back and we're gonna find out where it came, uh, where that green LED came on. So it was about there, all right? So we're gonna start counting. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. And you see that there's a small change there at the top of the frame at 27 milliseconds. So I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna say that this frame took 27 milliseconds for that light to be emitted before the um, first animation frame appeared on the client machine. So I'm gonna record that data down and I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna keep going through all these videos and record all this data. So there we are, an average of 32 milliseconds over the internet between my client machine and my gaming rig at home. Once we minus off the input latency baseline of 20 milliseconds and the ping time of around three, we're left with nine milliseconds for Parsec to encode, decode, send data across the internet and send controls. The next time you hear someone complain that cloud gaming or game streaming has too much input lag, 
tell them about Parsec, or better yet, send them to our website parsec.tv, where they can download and sign up to our app for free. If you'd like to join our Discord community, the link's in the video description below. If you'd like to support more content like this, please like and subscribe. Until next time, peace out.